I look like a duck in a BP oil spill. I was looking crazy, okay? Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. Today we'll be talking about products I love and hate from my favorite brands. One thing about the internet and social media, it lacks a lot of nuance. It lacks the understanding and the grasp of duality. Duality is this idea that there's no good without the bad. You can't have the positive without the negatives. And these things can coexist. There's products that I'm going to mention today that I've raved about from these brands. And then there's some products that I may have mentioned or may not have mentioned that I just don't like. Just because I dislike or I hate products from a specific brand doesn't mean that I hate the brand or I want the brand <laughs> to go bankrupt and out of business. I just don't like that product. They're extreme and what people click on and love on social media but I want to have a space where we can talk about the good and the bad we're gonna get into it but before we do if you are new here and you've never seen my face but you like my face definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around give this video a thumbs up a like goes such a long way it lets me know that you're loving this type of content and I will link everything down below. I'm not pressuring you to buy but if you are going to buy it anyway Click a link and save a life. Thank you so much. And while we're here, let me know what products you love and hate from your favorite brand. Let's start with the internet's most loved and hated brand, which is Olaplex. Olaplex is under fire right now. It is being sued by a hundred women that claim that Olaplex made their hair fall out. I will not undermine and belittle these women's experience as hair loss or hair thinning is not something that I would wish on my worst enemy. That's a damn lie. Yes, I would. But I wouldn't wish this on these innocent women. But at the same time, there are also millions of people like me that love and use Olaplex without issues. So you have to do what is in your best interest. I think Olaplex is perfectly safe if you use it as directed or you purchase it from a certified authorized retailer. Number five is Olaplex's conditioner. I do have a dedicated video on Olaplex and my favorite products from Olaplex. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. This product was not in that video because I don't like this product. I just don't. Uh, it's, it's, it's just not giving what it was supposed to have gave. I've only used it twice and I'm halfway through it. And this is 8.5 fluid ounces. I love a lot of Olaplex products. I can recommend almost every Olaplex product, but I can't recommend this. Uh, no. Mm, no. The thing about this product is that I layer on a bunch and it feels like nothing. And once I rinse it out and let my hair dry down, it actually does feel soft. So it is doing something, but it doesn't give me that instant hit of moisture or that instant hit of strength or any type of slip. And when it comes to a conditioner, I need my conditioner to have slip. There's no purpose of having a conditioner in my routine if it doesn't have slip. So even though at, on, at the end my hair feels good, the entire application process throughout is horrible. And at this point in my hair journey, I need my hair to feel good or feel like something from beginning to end. If I can only get a feeling at the end, it's not a good product to me. It's just not. So Olaplex number five ain't it wouldn't be something I would recommend is it a bad product no do a lot of people love it yes but it's just not for me on the other hand I love Olaplex number nine I've raved about this product multiple times on my channel and this is that girl this is one of Olaplex's newer products Olaplex came out like 10 years ago but this came out only two years ago or something and they did it with this I use this as the first step in my blowout I've also used it with a twist out and every time my hair is soft it's smooth it's silky when I don't use this for my blowout, I can feel the difference. There's just something special about this product that I can't really pinpoint or underscore, but I just know it's doing something. All the folks that have purchased this, we've been talking about it in the Insider Tea, love this as well. This is a spectacular 
products, especially because summer is coming up. I'm definitely planning to layer this under my leave-ins to protect my hair from UV damage and just to keep my hair as intact and beautiful as possible. We're trying to grow back out my hair, trying to get that booty crack length hair. And this is going to be a star player. She is just that good and worth every single penny. A little goes a long way. That's not something I say often. But I've been using this same bottle that I purchased well, a year ago. I'm still using it. It's still going strong. And I'm only finally getting to the end of it. This is so damn good. Let's talk about Fresh. Y'all should already know I love the Fresh Soy Cleanser. So much so that I have the jumbo size. This is a 13.5 fluid ounce of it. I've already gone through the smaller 5 ounce last year. And I had to pick this up because I love this. This is my favorite morning cleanser. The only con about this is that I really don't like that cucumber set. But besides the scent of it, besides the scent of it all, it is just so perfect. It has a aloe vera consistency. I've talked about that consistency so much. It literally looks like fresh. Ooh, shit. It literally looks and feels like fresh aloe vera on the skin. And I need you to experience this. Usually I prefer more affordable cleansers because cleansers only sit on your skin for like a minute. But there's just something so special about the texture. I've never had or experienced a cleanser that has this texture. It makes me feel so luxurious. It makes me feel like I'm treating my skin to something nourishing. It gently cleans the skin. And my skin just looks good. Every time I use it, it doesn't strip my skin. It's so gentle. The Sephora VIB sale is coming up. So if you haven't considered picking this up, I definitely advise it. I will always have this in my stash. It's the one cleanser when I run out of it. I still think about it. That's just how so that's just how good it is. I've tried so many skincare products over the last few years, but this one stands the test of time. I always have to have it. She is delightful. On the other hand, y'all should know I am not a fan of the fresh toner. The toner prickled my skin. It made my skin tingle. I tried to make it work. That's like a $50 toner. And it literally pales in comparison compared to Korean or Asian skincare. There's so many affordable toners. I have an entire video on my favorite toners. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. But just no moisture. It feels like nothing on the skin. I just don't understand the hype at all. I've talked about and clowned this product so many times on my channel. And I'm not sure how many more times I'm going to clown it. It's just not good. It's definitely overhyped. Definitely overpriced. And the answer is no for me. I ended up using it literally to refresh my natural hair. So, I mean, I got the use out of it. But I don't need a $50 refresher. I'm a bougie natural. I'm bougie when it comes to hair care and skin care. But even that's a bit too much for me. So the answer is no. But the cleanser, she is phenomenal. Let's talk about Necessaire. I do have a video on expensive products that are not worth the money. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. But that Necessaire body wash is definitely in that video and it deserves to be. The girlies really hyped that body wash. They said it was black girl luxury in a bottle. It was giving soft girl and it was not. It was giving Annie a hard knock life. It just wasn't good to me. It felt like suave. It felt like soft soap body. Definitely not worth the money when Castile soap is right there. So that product is a no for me. I still stand 10 toes down on that. But the deodorant gel... Now listen, the deodorant gel actually I think made my favorites like two months ago or four months ago. I will link my favorites playlist if you haven't seen all of my favorites over the last nine or so months. You can definitely check it out in the cards. It does contain some AHAs which is going to help with hyperpigmentation in your underarm area and even in the summer you're not going to smell funky. Is it going to go as hard as some suave or some degree? No, certainly not. It is a more natural deodorant but it's one of the 
best that I have found. Maybe if you're super sweaty, you may need to touch up. But even in the summer when you're sweating, it's going to hold you down. It's amazing. Another thing that you can add to your cart for the Sephora sale. I will do a Sephora recommendations video. If you want to see my recommendations, definitely let me know. And while you're here, definitely let me know some of your Sephora recommendations that I should pick up during the sale that's coming up literally in a few weeks. So definitely let me know. But yes, I'm always clown that body wash, but that deodorant gel, she is top tier. Let's talk about some sunscreen. It's getting hot outside and you want to make sure you are prepared. Let's talk about Black Girl Sunscreen. The Black Girl Sunscreen original wasn't my favorite. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't my favorite. One, it made me look like a bowl of chicken looking Kentucky fried as hell. So it's definitely not my favorite and I'm not even oily. I have balanced normal skin and I was still looking like an oil slick. I looked like a duck in a BP oil spill. I was looking crazy, okay? It's because I layer my sunscreen. I'm usually three, four layers into sunscreen by the end of the day and I was looking like it, okay? So it's not a favorite for me. If you have oily skin, I would say the hell away. It's definitely better for dry skin and not only that, it also burned the hell out of my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes, so I don't blame black girl sunscreen alone. Most sunscreens make my eye water, but that in particular, had me burning BB. On the other hand, the Black Girl Sunscreen Kit is my girl. I talked about her in my most recent Top Sunscreens video. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out right here. Love, 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 love that sunscreen. It definitely does not burn my eyes as much as other American sunscreens. When I get to the third or fourth layer, you know, it starts to get crazy, but that's pretty typical for me with someone with sensitive eyes. But layer one and two, I'm usually pretty good, and that's way better than some American sunscreens that burn my eyes immediately. If you don't have sensitive eyes, it's a perfect sunscreen. $10 for three ounces. Where they do that at, because usually sunscreen is the most expensive part of a skincare routine, and you need your sunscreen. You need your sunscreen like a fish needs water, so I recommend you go affordable as you can, especially because you gotta layer on a lot of sunscreen to get that equal protection on your skin, anywhere from a fourth of a teaspoon to half a teaspoon per application. You can't play with it. And you also need to reapply it, especially if you're in the sun and you're sweating or you're swimming you have to reapply that sunscreen every two hours or so so you want to make sure you're staying on top of it and a black girl sunscreen kids is that girl let's talk about african pride i have dragged the african pride pre poo so many times on my channel i just do not like it i don't think it brings the moisture i don't think it entangles the hair i've dragged it like i said i know it is a fan favorite in the natural hair community, but it's just not good. It's just not giving what it was supposed to have gave. On the other hand, I much prefer the one from Just For Me. I will link that down below as a better alternative. They have similar ingredients. I think Just For Me has a few better ingredients and it just works a whole lot better. So I would recommend that one. So the pre pool is a hell no for me. But Wasa Yes is a product that I recently picked up a few months ago, and it's already gone. There's nothing. There's nothing. I've been killing this for my rod sets. This is their Rose Water and Argan Oil Soft and Smooth Curl Mousse. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this, and I'm not sure why, but this is one of the best mousses that I've tried. I love this. I I think I love it more than a lot of body, which sounds really crazy, but I, I just, it's just that good. It's really just that good. It's super affordable. It's like five or six dollars for 8.5 fluid ounces. I do layer on a lot of mousse, so I go through mousse pretty fast, but it's so affordable, so I don't feel guilty about it. Rod sets, twist out, braid outs, whatever style you want to achieve, well, Maybe not a wash and go. <laughs> Maybe not a wash and go. But for any set style, I highly recommend this. I think this is my favorite mousse of life right now.
I still have a lot of mousses that I've tried to test out, but so far she is the winner and she is so, so, so amazing. I was going to talk about a few more products today, but I think this video has been long enough. If you want to see a part two, definitely let me know. Let's get this video to... 500 likes and I'll definitely bring a part two. I really enjoyed making this video so I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, concerns, recommendations, or ideas of, of other or ideas of other videos you want to see, definitely let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be well. Everything will be linked down below. I'm pretty sure you're going to get that African Pride mousse. So click a link and save a life sis. Thanks for watching. Peace. Bye y'all.